This year is a very special year because we have three COPs that's happening at the same time. The COP on climate, a COP on biodiversity, as well as a COP on land degradation and water issues. It is a reminder to all of us that the issues are intertwined. In order for us to address climate, we'll have to look at biodiversity loss. We'll have to think about how we can restore as well as conserve ecosystems to support our communities and to build uh, more robust businesses. We are working with businesses on net zero nature positive strategies. So even as they think about cutting emissions and looking at transiting to renewables and practices that are more in harmony with nature, they can invest into new solutions, into technological opportunities that can protect and restore the health of our planet. The letter talks about the tangible actions CEOs and businesses are taking to move forward on climate deliverables. But at the same time, it also talks about the need for governments to provide that enabling framework and the policy support to accelerate and scale the transitions. Businesses that are able to forge the pathways and solutions forward will be in a much better position to compete in the new economies of the future.